Welcome back everyone, it's Stray Faye here with another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. Alright, as promised, I am now awake on the 3rd of spring. I did connect my game to more friends of Mineral Town, my game cartridge. Um, you can use either or. Um, it's I think it's irrelevant which cartridge you use in the English version, however, um, and the Japanese version, depending if you connected to Friends of Mineral Town or more Friends of Mineral Town, you'd actually get like letters of like records that you did in the game. But yeah, they don't really have mail <laughs> in the English version, so yeah. Hey, Thomas! Hey, Milan! Here's a ball you lost! Ah, not to lose it this time! You got it, right? Okay. Thanks for the ball. You can play with your dog with this. They have like an experience bar um, that you can fill up and I'm just gonna sell it. <laughs> and if you fill up the experience bar, they have a better time um, chasing away wild dogs, although that's not really gonna be a problem for me. So I'm just gonna sell it. Uh, Thomas will give it back to you <laughs> if you sell it. Uh, I just decided to sell it because I need it for my shipping list. Alright, so what do we get for connecting our game to more friends of Mineral Town? Uh, we should get some new characters hanging around here. Um, if you dust off your memory of Mineral Town characters, um, Mineral Town characters will pop up in your game on days that they would usually have off. So on Tuesdays, the general store would be closed, so you'd get Karen would come to visit our town, I think. Um, Karen is friends with Celia in this game, although... They should be staying in these rooms. There, they, there she is, yeah. Early morning, they're usually- like, the girls stay in one side and then the boys stay on the other side. <laughs> then we got Karen. Milan? Oh, I'm Karen from the store. Thanks for your patronage. I decided to come visit on the days the store is closed. Nice meeting you. Hey, Karen. Since we started doing phone orders from our shop, business has been great. Yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> phone ordering. Nowadays it's all online ordering. Delivering is trouble, though. Gotta hire some uh, delivery people. Alright, there's Karen. <laughs> We're not gonna really get uh, befriending here for a while because once again we still need to sacrifice our 50 animals for our witch waifu. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, let's see, one other person that I didn't talk to last time was dear old Daryl. Who should be here. I'm not sure when he wakes up. I just remember in a wonderful life. He woke up at like noon, but luckily this game doesn't follow the same rules. So here's here's Daryl. Don't. I completely forgot what I was researching. My goodness, don't startle me so. Don't touch anything in here. You look like a mess, but everything is in meticulous order. And that is. Ah, I completely forgotten. He's a mad scientist. Alright, well, if you become friends with him, um, this little door here will become unlocked, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. So what am I doing now? Alright, we still have other people to have a friend as well. I'm just all over the place today. <laughs> Let's finish our introductions, at least. Let's talk to Celia and Vesta. I think those are like the last two people that I haven't- I didn't talk to, uh, the other day. Here's Vesta. She owns the farm. Well, Milan, working hard. You run out of seeds, come buy some from me. <laughs> I just remember her voice clip from Wonderful Life being like, Ooh, we want busy. To grow good crops, you should check on them every day. Make sure you, your crops get plenty of water. Okie doke, I will do that. And then Celia, are you over here? Where the heck are you? It's Tuesday, so she might be hanging out with, uh, Karen. She likes to hang out with Karen on Tuesdays. They're like little girlfriends. It's kind of weird. Like Karen the tomboy hanging out with Celia, the farm girl. Hi, Milan. Looking good today. That's great to see. I'm happy because Karen comes to visit every week. Karen tells me all about Mineral Town. 
that there are ranch... ranches? I think that's supposed to say ranches <laughs> in Mineral Town too. Okay. There's some events that are involved with uh, Karen and Celia. There are a lot of actually missable events. Um, if you're not able to connect with the Game Boy cartridge, um, you do miss- I feel like you do miss out on a lot of cutscenes, because there's a lot of cutscenes involving the Mineral Town characters. Um, I wonder if my- yeah, okay, that doesn't work. <laughs> I always just get quotation marks for this. Um, it's supposed to have your name of your character from, um, your game cartridge in Friends of Mineral Town, although I think in the Japanese person- Japanese version, it would have your- it would have the person in a wonderful life, assuming you connected a wonderful life to Mineral Town. It's weird how, like, data transferring works, but yeah. If it did work, it'd be like, here lies Gabrielle, rancher extraordinaire, rest in peace. But I didn't get that right. Okie doke. I am... Looking for grass to eat, probably would be a good idea. Use my time with. No, I, that's not that's not technically grass. I probably should have just put that in my pocket. Um num num. Okay. All right, what other characters do we get? Um, on Wednesdays we'll get uh, the doctor and Nurse Ellie, and the doctor actually has a name. In this version, they call him Doctor Trent. So. At least we, kn we know what his real name is now. He's not just a doctor. It's kind of awkward when you marry him and just have to refer to him as doctor. <laughs> we haven't been up here yet. There's usually lots of lots of stuff that spawns up here. Uh, Thursdays, if I can. Ooh, yeah. Thursdays would be Gray. He's the blacksmith uh, grandson in Mineral Town. Fridays. Fridays be. Can't remember a Friday. I think Saturday would be Cliff. I think the winery is closed on Saturday. Sunday would be Rick and Potpourri. Who apparently now own Yodel Ranch. <laughs> they they've absorbed some more real estate. Fish. I can do all sorts of things. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could chop some wood. That will unlock a sprite. I think I need like a hundred pieces of wood. And it would also level up. I level up my tool skill. Who's on Monday? I'm trying to think who I'm missing. Talked about Rick, talked about Gray, talked about Trent. Rick, Gray, Trent, Cliff, and then Kai. Kai actually only comes in the summer, which actually might be a good thing because you have like a whole month to woo him. And I don't think you actually need to connect your game in order to get Kai. So he functions the same as he did in Mineral Town. And luckily in this game, you can actually marry a Mineral Town bachelor and it won't end your game. So I actually might leave that on the table. Um, being, a being able to marry a Mineral Town bachelor. <laughs> because when I played Friends of Mineral Town, um, or more Friends of Mineral Town, I did not pick any of them. <laughs> I picked the gourmet. <laughs> and he was a character, but yeah, I, I do intend to marry off uh, the main five bachelors in this game, so. Is it Griffin, Rock, Carter, Gustafa? And Marlin, I do intend to have them marry their rival marriage couples, couplings. But I will get as many cutscenes as I can with them. And there's actually some... Some other cutscenes involved with them. If you, like, marry them. So I might have to do a little, like, a little bit of save scumming. Like, not specifically marriage cutscenes, but, like, cutscenes involving... Involving, uh, villagers and stuff. If that makes sense. There's a lot of rocks here for some reason. <laughs> Although I'm a little apprehensive. A little apprehensive, uh... 
filling up my bags like this. But I should be able to get another bag tomorrow, so... <laughs> I will be able to fill it up with more garbage. Lots more garbage. Here, I'll take that weed. Do, 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 do. Relaxing music. <laughs> Although, not my favorite Harvest Moon music. There are definitely better themes. I'm definitely kind of lull you asleep with this music. <laughs> Alright, so maybe it is getting kind of late. I might try to get a cutscene. Hopefully it activates on Tuesday <laughs> to unlock one last character in my game. And then I'll have all the characters in town. Alright, let me Head on up, I gotta... Still walking with my own two feetsies. I don't have... I don't have the teleport stone yet. So things take a lot longer... To get places. Uh, I forgot if I need to... Go in and out from here. Oh, hi Van. I forgot you were here today. <laughs> Where do I need to ex enter from? This direction. There we go. Who is this guy? With this theme song. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. Walking alone at night. <laughs> it's Sky! He's a he's a new new character in Harvest Moon DSQ. I guess maybe the developers felt bad for all the older guys that they gave us. In uh, Forget Me Not Valley, so to make up for it, they designed this new bachelor. <laughs> In case you didn't have a copy of Mineral Town that you could connect to. <laughs> I'm quite the ladies' man and a prince of the stars. Hey! Aren't you that famous thief who warns his victims ahead of time? <laughs> Sorry, but I'm a bit pressed for time. I'm about to jet out. <laughs> Call me Phantom Sky. I have a feeling we'll meet again. It's in the stars. He's a little pretentious. <laughs> Wait, right there! <laughs> Hold up, beautiful. Don't let such raw anger steal away your beauty. What a smooth talker! Oh, Phantom Sky! And apparently he's a, a ladies' man. <laughs> oh, Lumina, no. I mean, to be fair, Lumina, he's probably better than than Rock. You you go for that, Phantom Sky. <laughs> Phantom Sky, he he got away from me. <laughs> she seems really happy about it, though. <laughs> that thief is so cool. Oh no. Oh yeah, he's he's unlocked now. He will pop up. Um he's a late night villager. He pops up around 10 p.m. He'll be by the exit to Forget Me Not Valley where we can't go beyond. And he'll kind of wander around the valley until he lands up in the goddess spring at some ungodly hour. <laughs> I usually wait around 10 p.m. and just throw a gift in his face and then I'll like go to bed, but... I gotta meet Phantom Sky today. What a pretty boy. Time for some sweet dreams. All right, I think it just kicks me to bed. And it's raining. Oh no, that's fine. <laughs> Hi, Thomas. Milan, I found the ball I gave you in the shipping bin. What were you thinking? Are you low on cash? You can ship the ball, but you won't get that much gold for it. Yeah, it's only worth one gold. <laughs> You're a farmer. You can make money somehow, right? Here's a new ball. Be extra careful this time, okay? You got it, right? Okay. Okay, sir. Alright, got my ball back. <laughs> also, I'm running dangerously low on inventory space. I totally forgot. We have, like, this clothes box here. You can, you can actually change your outfit on the on the get-go. 
I just kind of thought of it because it was raining. Usually when it's raining, I like to change my outfit to blue. Because <laughs> water is blue in this game. Yeah, um, you get the benefit, a small benefit for changing your outfit. Um, you, I think you get like a hundred love points for each of the bachelors, which it really isn't a lot, but... <laughs> I mean, if you're wooing a lot of guys, it, it'll rack up. So, like, change your outfit every day if you if you want to. All right, today is Wednesday. We can actually meet. Who can we meet? We can meet uh, the doctor and Nurse Ellie. They like to hang out with uh, Doctor. Oh, that's another character I haven't met yet. I haven't met Doctor Hardy. <laughs> totally forgot about him. He's kind of a minor character. I'm already, like, exhausted. I bet I'm still racking up negative stamina from from yesterday. This yellow grass could screw my health. Hey, it's so weird he's wearing a yellow outfit. You probably noticed, though, some of the bachelor's outfits look kind of off-color. That's intentional. Like they're, It's like they're changing their outfit as well, along with you. For, for some reason, only they do it. I already told me about you. Milan, isn't it? I'm Dr. Trent. Mineral Town's own doctor. Nice to meet you. Just like in town, everyone here in the valley is healthy and happy. And we got sweet Ellie over here. You're Milan. I heard everything from Hardy. I'm Ellie. I help out at Mineral Town Hospital. Nice meeting you. Is it really a hospital? More like a, like a clinic. Roughly the same people come to Mineral Town Hospital. It's usually Karen's father and Popery's mother. And occasionally the ranch owner comes too. <laughs> Does he pass out a lot? <laughs> Let's actually meet Hardy as well. I'm gonna go in here with you. Hey, Hart Dr. Hardy. Gotta remember his doctorate title. Milan, your dad up in- <laughs> your daddy up in heaven wouldn't want you to loafing. Dr. Trent's my apprentice. You could say he's even like a son to me. Dr. Trent's got a steady hand. Um, <laughs> the dialogue's cutting off. He's a spitting image of my younger self. Is he? Before he became the Terminator? Alright, cool. I try to avoid activating hard events for them because I'm just gonna lose affection with them anyway. If I was smart about it, I probably wouldn't even unlock them until I'm done. I'm done uh, with the witch princess. Let's see. So I think I'm either going to try to pass out or see if I can unlock something here. I'm like gravitating towards them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm collecting these flowers because I don't really need that many of them <laughs> for like any purpose, but I'm just like gravitated towards collecting items. Like I can't help it. Like I just want to pick it up if it's on the ground. Oh. This is a rival event, Professor? What's the matter, Flora? How about curry rice for dinner tonight? What? Don't be so picky. I'm begging you. Anything but that. Are you trying to make me mad? No. Oh no. Oh, Carter, you're like absolutely whipped. <laughs> Alright, that was a rival event. Hi, Milan. The dig is going very well. I think I have to get here a little bit earlier to unlock unlock the first mine. Milan, thanks! For what? I didn't do anything. <laughs> Digging is fun, but it makes your back hurt. Ow! This rate, right, I'm set to become the greatest discoverer of the century! Ah ha 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 probably gotta come earlier in the day. Actually, what time do I have? I could probably just look this up. 
before just activating random hard events and getting relation, what am I trying to say? Getting uh, affection points that I'm just going to lose anyway. Da, da, da. Let's see what time. It doesn't really say. I don't know how difficult it is to organize this information. Oh well. I think it's very early in the morning, like before before Carter can even make it to the mine, so I either have to like book it right here in the morning or teleport here. So maybe I will try that in the other day. I think I have to have my hammer equipped as well, so. Ah, my head! Yeah, I think I might just pass out. But if I'm going to pass out, I would like to pass out on my farm. Because... <laughs> because passing out on my farm... Means I won't lose money, because... I think if you pass out, like, somewhere in the valley, Murray will save you, and then you'll take, like, half your money. Passing out in the mines, for some reason Thomas is in there, and he will also take half your money. So... If you're trying to woo the witch princess and get the... The pass out a hundred times achievement done, uh, do it on your farm where Takakura... You can either do it out here, I'm just doing it out here because I'm, like, getting... I'm dying faster. Oh wait, never mind. Not yet. <laughs> Before I pass out, I need to buy something from the phone. So yeah, we have all these shops that we can access from the telephone. We got Poultry Farm, Yodel Ranch, got the Supermarket, uh, Saibara the Blacksmith, Scott's Construction, the Church, TV Shopping, and Mace Tailoring. Actually, let's, let's go to Mace Tailoring. Nobody answers me. Oh, okay, they're closed today. Wah! <laughs> Uh, alright, never mind. Let's just go to the supermarket. We're gonna be get very familiar with all these shops, but there is something I want to get at the supermarket. Welcome! Welcome to the su supermarket, your one-stop shop! I want... a bigger rucksack. Medium rucksack. Hold twice as many items as your starting rucksack. Yes, please. I'll buy that. And I will probably buy something again tomorrow. Um, I think if you buy something for ten days... Uh, you do unlock another harvest sprite, so we're, we're gonna like just gradually buy things from there until we unlock that sprite. And yeah, we get another page to our inventory. <laughs> Thank goodness we were running dangerously low. Alright, I'm gonna finish passing out now. Oh wow, I was like two hits away. <laughs> hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Lit. And it's raining again, really? Well, that'll make it faster to pass out, I guess. Um, it is Thursday, so let's actually meet another character. Gotta throw things, because I actually can't litter around. Chop, chop. Also, clearing out the weeds helps other things grow as well, or in this case, gives spawn points. For rocks and branches to pop up, so swing away. Smashy, smashy. Okay. I head over here before uh, Gray heads up to the the mines. Is he in here, or is, it, or is it a little late? Okay, he is in here. Hi! Hi, buddy! Like his black outfit, although it doesn't really reflect in his portrait. You're Milan, right? I'm Gray from Saibara's <laughs> blacksmith. Oh, on my day off, I decided to come and play. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you playing right now? <laughs> he plays by going to the mine. <laughs> like, t relax from work, okay? Okay there, Gray? <laughs> Grandpa isn't around so I can take it easy. I go. <laughs> he doesn't look blonde in, in this game. He actually has his red hair instead. It's too noisy at home. This is really paradise. Really? I feel like I feel like Mineral Town is kinda the same as Forget Me Not Valley. I guess like Mineral Town the houses are a little bit more concentrated here. 
Your houses are a little bit more scattered around haphazardly. I guess there's that. I'm gonna go eat more grass. Eat more grass like an insane person. I got another harvest right finally. They're gonna have to eat 50 pieces of grass for this one. I'm back. I got I got anime. I saved anime. Yay. Milan, thank you so much. I'll help you wherever I can. Yeah, the purple harvest sprites, um, you can hire them out soonish. On the 8th, I can actually hire out sprites. Um, and they will recover my stamina depending on how well trained they are. I think it starts at like 10%. Um, if you talk to them every, every 30 minutes or so. Hi, Lumina. I like chatting with you. <laughs> that thief is cool! Oh, you're talking about Sky. <laughs> Forget me not, Valley is a great place. It's surrounded by nature and many interesting people interesting people live here. Kinda funny that you're referring to the thief. <laughs> that happened like a few days ago. Had some like follow-up dialogue to that. Dude, just gonna see if I can find a few more things to eat. I still need to eat more grass. I think I get another purple sprite when I eat 80 pieces, and then another one at like 150 pieces of grass. So let's keep being an insane person and just keep eating stuff off the floor. I'll grab these flowers just because I'm attracted to the flowers. It probably also cut this grass. Man, I really want to upgrade my sickle to like a mythic level. I could just you could just destroy all the weeds in like one fell swing. Alright, I think the general store is now open, so let us buy another item there. Welcome! Welcome to the supermarket, your one-stop shop! I would like to buy a basket today. Thank you very much! I'll put it in front of your house. I think after like a week, there'll be another rucksack upgrade, assuming you have the money. And today I buy... I buy baskets, and I, I have a use for the baskets. <laughs> you actually <laughs> just toss anything in here. Hello. I'm back. You get a harvest sprite for that. Blun, thank you so much. I'll help you however I can. All right, does I like never use a basket? I, I don't even know what the item limit of the basket is in this game. It was like thirty items. Um, in Mineral Town, although it's kind of irrelevant to hold 30 items in a basket that you have to, like, babysit, because now your inventory, everything stacks in your inventory, so <laughs> you don't really need to worry about that anymore. Okie doke. Um, is there any, uh, any other stores? Is Maze Tailoring? Welcome to Maze Tailoring! We sell the finest clothes and the loveliest wallpaper. Uh, okay. So I, hmm, what if I say just stopping by? No window shopping. All right. <laughs> I think I think that you'll actually have uh, things to say. I, is it? I think it's based off farm degree. I know the items like the clothing and the wallpapers are based off your farm degree. So I will shop today. <laughs> Yours forever. These are just names. <laughs> Irrelevant names. Um. They're just recolors of your outfit. Thank you. All right, I'll put it in your clothing box. I'll buy admirable friend. Thank you. All right, I'll put it in your clothing box. And then pure affection. Um, if you were playing Claire, you would instead have um different color palettes of overalls. I kind of like Jill's outfits better because it's actually kind of like coordinated three colors instead of just one color of overall. Alright, I kind of want to try a wallpaper too. I can afford it. 
Uh, these look kind of nice. So, like, the rustic one is just our standard board. <laughs> this wood floor. Uh, the wide open field looks like this. What do you think of this? You didn't like this one? And then paw print. That one's kind of cute, too. But they all do wide open field. Um... I did like this one a lot as a kid, but like now as an adult, I'm just like, whoa, that's really saturated green, my eyes. But yeah, it looks like really green grass. Is that all? Thank you. Please call us again. Yeah, like, like we. Oui. It's like a, like I'm, it's like I actually have grass in here that I can cut. Okay, well, time to pass out. <laughs> I, I, I guess I'll just upgrade my axe first. I don't want to hit my dog. Eh, I don't want to get stuck anywhere either. Does my mailbox have any dialogue? There's like no dialogue to the mailbox either. There's nothing else I need to do today. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's like some other cutscene I could activate specifically today, but I don't think there is anything important. So time to die. That's what I think about this is another character I haven't seen yet. Where the heck is Romana? Well, <laughs> I guess I'll say hi to her tomorrow. That's a problem for tomorrow, me. I'm gonna pass out 100 times. Alright, this is the second time I'm passing out. Blech. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Really? It's raining again. Game. Let me change to my other blue outfit. I don't know what to think of this. I mean, I don't mind. It's not... It's not bad. I'm not really looking for sunny days, but... Kinda dreary. Uh, let me check the end. I actually think... Does Anne have the day off on Friday usually? Is that who pops up on Friday? I like totally forgot about Anne. Yeah, here's Anne. Oh. <laughs> You're Milan, aren't you? You're running a ranch, right? I'm Anne. Nice to meet you. I'm from Mineral Town. I'm here because Ruby is teaching me cooking techniques. The inner end's really big. Hmm. Maybe we should remodel our inn back in Merrill Town? I mean, you're... <laughs> I, I guess there are a few more rooms um, in this inn, but I think you have like the same amount of beds as you did in Mineral Town. Plus you have beds with actual bed frames instead of futons. I'll ask Dad about it sometime. I'm sure Gots will do it for us right away. Okay. Well, there's Anne. We'll get to know her later. Alright, let me talk to Romana. <laughs> that's, like another, that's one other character that I totally forgot I didn't talk to. I don't think I even talked to Van either. I saw him and then I just like... My eyes glazed over and then I just forgot about him. We will talk to him on the 8th though, so... No need to worry about that. Are you in your bed? There you are, old lady. Hi. No rocking chair, though. Milan, I see you're just hanging about as usual. A phantom? Oh my, ho ho ho. Someone like that came- you think you're talking about Phantom Sky, really? It's not much, but please make yourself at home. Not- okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all the dialogue you have. Alright, Romana. Met you. Now I just need to meet Van. Like actually introduce myself to him, not just see him, acknowledge him, and then run off. I'm not more. That wood. Alright. I am going to probably just make my character pass out again. Is there any other, any other things I can whack up here? Say hi to my cat. More wood. I need 49 more pieces of wood. Oops, I missed. Don't know why I missed. Oh, 
And once I unlock the, like one sprite from the lumbering lumber and stone gathering team, then I can actually use them to help me unlock the rest. Cause I'm lazy and I'm looking for shortcuts. I'm gonna toss some things around. If I litter, if I litter some more, the witch princess will pop up and give me another witch princess gift. And that'll help me raise my farm degree <laughs> every day. I might also help wood spawn on the ground as well. I don't know how long I want to do this. So much fun! <laughs> Easy and it. Uh, let me... Get some rocks. Smack. See, so hopefully my recording's okay. <laughs> it's hard. I have to, like... I have my eyes glued on my 3DS, so, like, it's kind of weird being hunched over instead of, like, looking up at, like, a TV screen. Plus, I have to look at the touchpad. Like, I do have... I do have the DS game projected on, like, my computer screen. But, like, I, I don't know what I'm doing on the touchpad if I look at my computer screen. <laughs> Alright, before I decide to pass out, um... Can't forget to buy something at the general store. Or the supermarket, rather. Welcome! Welcome to the supermarket! What do I want to buy today? Um... I would buy seeds, but it would just kind of, it would just kind of sit in my bag. So maybe I'll buy like a rice ball or something. All right, and then I'll sell it because I do need to have that on my shipping list. Probably just buy like a food item every day and then sell it. All right, gotta get that cred. Now let's keep. How how am I doing on my axe? I can upgrade my axe to copper if I want, and now silver. Time to pass out. Time to pass out. You can you can also do this in your house, and Takakura will still save you while in in your house. But I'm doing it outside in the rain because it helps me die faster. <laughs> it just it's just a time saving, like a real life time saving mechanic, I guess. If you want to. Think of it that way. Smashy, 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 smashy. Alright, there we go. Hey, hang in there. I'll carry you home now. I'm exhausted. Time to call it a day. Okay. Who visits today? I think Cliff. Um, Gots the Woodcutter, I think, also visits on Saturday. Um, I'm not sure if he hangs out at the inner end from the beginning. It is a sunny day though, so maybe I should <laughs> I'm gonna change my outfit. Maybe I should head on over to the mines to see if I can unlock that? Question mark. Alright, let me see if I can do both. Let me go to the inner end and then run to the mines. I'm gonna have my cake and eat it too. Okay, Cliff is here. Let me introduce myself. My name's Cliff. Nice to meet you. You actually seem a little bit happier in this game. Your eyes are also purple, which is kind of cool, instead of brown. This room uh, reminds me of the inn at Mineral Town. Mineral Town has a nice inn, too. You should go there sometime. I could, but the sprites won't let me escape. They're keeping me here. <laughs> like, I could just be like... I can't leave! Save me! Maybe that's really what happened in Harvest Moon DS when you married a bachelorette. You could like finally escape. You escaped to Mineral Town and that's why you got the game over credits. <laughs> you left the valley. You did it. That's actually- your farmer was like really calling for help all this time. It's like a cry for help. Alright, let me book it. Let's book it to the mines. Let's see if I can unlock my first mine. 
And maybe, maybe I can do it. Go down it. And then I can unlock another one. <laughs> ah, run, 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 run. I think you have to get in there before anyone else does. No. Alright, I actually have to look this up. Ah, uh, the four mines. How do I unlock it? To unlock, the first mine you need to visit the site in the hours when nobody is in the excavation site or after 9 p.m. Uh, da -da. very early morning. I mean, no one's here! Oh. Why did that work? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Run in and out. Oh, it's you, Milan! So this is where you've been. Are you watching me run in and out of this cave? I remembered something that you wanted- that I wanted you to do for me, so I've been looking for you. The truth is, I think I've discovered a tunnel here. But unfortunately, I don't have a hammer. I figured you'd have one. Do you have one? Yes, I do. Great! You are a lifesaver! Alright, get ready to use it! Pound away. Hey, over here! Come here! Yes, Professor. It's the wall beside me. Use the hammer and hit it with everything you got. Okay, Professor. It's a pound of that wall. I hope the tunnel didn't collapse on me. I knew there was a tunnel. Thanks for helping me. I'm really pumped up now. Well, I'm going home. I like how he doesn't even explore. He's like, well, I'm tired. I'm going home. All right. See you later, kid. Oh, yeah. Feel free to dig in the tunnel whenever you want. It's my way of saying thanks. Okay. I'm actually going to go in there. Um, I think I have all the tools I need for here. Uh, it is mine. Um, <laughs> pretty much there's different tunnels that you could unlock. Oh, I actually found a hole. Underground level one, so your goal is to either find the stairs or find a pitfall that will help you go down. Um, this mine has ores that you need for upgrading tools. Um, other mines will have other stuff. Um, most of it will just be useless garbage that you need to completely complete your shipping list. Um, oh, like we found the stairs. <laughs> other stuff will be actually useful, like accessories or like super powerful cursed tools that you need to bless. Sound like I found the stairs. <laughs> and yeah. We'll be going down here a lot probably for some grinding purposes. Because there's also a bachelorette down here as well. Oh, we found the stairs. Also, you kind of saw something weird. Um, The stairs... So in Friends of Mineral Town, there's like certain rules where the stairs could spawn on the screen. Like they couldn't spawn next to um, the current staircase up and they couldn't spawn on like the outer rim either. But in this game, they can spawn in those locations, so. There's more places to dig. All right, I found a pitfall. <laughs> Usually I... I think, like, there we go. It might be wise to run around first to see if you can find the pitfall, and then... And then if you can't, then dig for the stairs. Alright, I'm kind of lowish. I'm going to actually... Go gather some ore. I need to ship some. I also need to save some... For upgrading my tools. So, I will... Gather a good amount. Okay, got mistral. I need at least five mistral for my tools. I'll probably try just spamming my tools and then upgrading it to like the final level versus like just going sequentially like copper, silver, gold, or mistral. I'll probably try to just do it that way instead. <laughs> just just level it all the way up to level five. Alright, where is the pitfall? If there is a pitfall. Sometimes it's okay. Doesn't always spawn. Give me... I need more mistral. I need at least six. Alright, I have five tools. One, two... Th no, I need, I need seven, actually. 
I need six for my tools and then one to ship. I'm gonna pass out. And I don't really have any energy <laughs> recovery items, so I need to be careful. I might have to do a strategic retreat. If I decide to be too greedy. Although, if I lose my money here, um, I am not too worried, actually. <laughs> Smashy. I probably should save and reload. Conserve on stamina, but I'm also very scared of doing that because <laughs> I corrected my save that way in, in Harvest Moon DS for boy. Um, even though I never had that happen to me in the girl version, just the boy version, and that kind of just ruined everything for me. Now I'm super paranoid. All right, where's the pitfall? I need to drop one more floor, and there we go. Got underground level 10. And for getting down here. This is the lowest level of the mine. Good job. Ahem. But it doesn't mean you get anything spe special. Anyway, congratulations. See you later. So, Guts. Guts will congratulate you for getting down to the bottom floor of the mine. If you save the Harvest Goddess, then the Harvest Goddess would congratulate you instead. And I think you actually get like a little love bonus for that as well. Which might be irrelevant in the long run if you intend to marry the Harvest Goddess, because... One of her requirements is giving her 500 gifts. So, you will probably have her at Red Heart anyway. <laughs> and down here we have a foe! One of the first Harvest Moon games to feature enemies. Um, we have a dark chick. It dies in two hits, and then we're good. That's it. It's dead now. We've conquered the mine. <laughs> uh, let's see, I think I'm ready to leave. I got my seven mistral. I also got some plenty of other ore in case I do want to upgrade my tools to a different level. So I will actually return to ground level and I will see if I can unlock the, the second mine. There we go. Right off the bat. Oh, it's you, Milan. So this is where you've been. I remembered something that I wanted you to do for me, so I've been looking for you. Actually, I think there's another tunnel here, too. But unfortunately, I don't have a hammer. I figured you'd have one. Do you have one? I... do. Great, you're a lifesaver. Alright, get ready to use it. Do you not remember that I just uncovered a tunnel for you, old man? <sighs> Gotta take a sip of water. Hey, over here! Come here! Like, I'm just gradually making him older and older to, like, an old man. It's the wall beside me. Use the hammer and hit it with everything you've got. Hey, smashy smashy! I knew there was a tunnel! Thanks for your help. I'm really pumped up now. Well, I'm going home now. <laughs> I'm tired. Time to go home. Oh yeah, feel free to dig in the tunnel whenever you want. It's my way of saying thanks. I did all the work. And this is how you repay me? Oh god, we got more enemies here. Die! Ah! Chickies! And... Oh god, holes. Oh <laughs> god. We dropped farther down here. I think I might do a strategic retreat, actually. Um, in this mine, it's 255 floors. Um... The most notable items here are just, like, gems that really aren't worth that money in the grand scheme of things. And there's also a special, uh, a special tool at the bottom of this mine. But it's 255 floors, and I don't think my character is ready for that until I, like, have some stamina recovery items. Luckily, it's not as bad as traversing 255 floors in Friends of Mineral Town. Because, oh god, for one, uh, for one you have pitfalls that allow you to go down multiple floors. It's a bit easier to find the stairs, and you have all this inventory space, so you could easily just stock up on, like, stamina recovery items and fatigue recovery items. Um, you don't really have to conserve your energy by save scumming anymore. Unless you want to. Unless you're, like, afraid of losing all your money. Okie doke. Um... I want... Yeah, I can go a little bit longer. I could probably sell all my junk ore. I don't really need that. 
Um, I need to sell at least one of these. One of everything. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. I need to separate the mistral. Um, I think I will also sell a piece of wood and a piece of stone just to add that to my list. Did I ship this flower? I don't remember. I'm probably gonna have to keep like a checklist of stuff I have and have not shipped. I also shipped this rock. <laughs> shipped this rock. <laughs> shipped this branch. There. Perfect. Uh, how am I doing on money? Good on money. I can afford another thing from the supermarket. All right, today I will buy bread. I was looking for a rucksack upgrade, but there's no rucksack upgrade until probably next week. So I will buy bread today, and I will sell bread. I will sell bread today, and I'll add that to my shipping list. This is really dumb. <laughs> you just unlock things. Okay, I I want to do at least one more day. So let's pass out. <laughs> Kinda nice that you don't really get a penalty for passing out on your farm. And... Uh... Yeah, and you just- you wake up at 6 a.m. anyway, so you don't really lose any time. So, it's not really that big of a penalty for doing this requirement for the witch princess. Alright, carry me home, Tag. I'm exhausted. <laughs> Let's do one more day. Did I change my outfit again? Did I make it pink? Make it pink. Ta-da! Got some green paints. All right, today is Sunday. Um, actually have some visitors that like to say hi to Tack. So we should have Potpourri and Rick here today. Nom nom. nom. See if they're here early in the morning. Here's old Rick and all his Ricky glory. Hey there, Milan. I'm Rick from Chicken Littles. I decided to come here every week since my sister Potpourri is studying here. Kai shows up in the summer, doesn't he? He comes to Mineral Town too. Oh, Rick, you still hate Kai. Can't stand Kai. He always keeps trying to get involved with Potpourri. Still hates him. <laughs> I think they had him like calm down in the remake a bit. Here's Potpourri. Milan, isn't it? Takakura told me about you. I'm Potpourri. I'm here to study management. That's kind of nice that like Potpourri is actually studying how to like manage a business. Because before in Mineral Town, her whole shtick was that like her her dad didn't really let her do anything, and then her brother wasn't letting her do anything either, so... Like, they didn't really trust her to, like, manage anything. But yeah, now she's actually studying to be a, a big, strong businesswoman. I'm glad this dream is for girls only. If my brother were here too, I'd never get a break. Yeah, your brother has kind of a sister complex. And it was kind of sad how, like, she pretty much just married Kai. And friends of Mineral Town just to to get away from it all and just travel the world. I feel like she, it was just like a form of escape at that point, not really what anyone wanted. A little bit naive. Getting married too young. Too young indeed. Alright. It is the 8th of spring, so walk across the bridge, you get a cutscene. After this point, for some reason, they only let you get this sprite for walking across the bridge towards Vesta's farm um, after the 8th of spring. I guess they wanted you to play around for a week before giving this to you. Yes! Finally, Forget-Me-Not Valley! Got Roller! Milan, thanks for bringing me back! I wasn't sure what was going to happen there for a while, with the opening so soon. What opening? Oh yeah! I almost forgot to tell you! Come follow me! Just follow the little little elf man. 
And here's a sprite tree that we haven't gone into yet. <laughs> Due to the recession going on, we were planning to revamp our job submission system. But we got sent over to that other world right before we were to introduce the system. That system is actually this! Kicks down a wall over here! Watch your step! Now if I remember correctly, the switch should be... Ah, I found it. This new system is the introduction of a casino! Alright, so... A new Harvest Sprite system. Instead of a Harvest Sprite slave system fueled purely by flour, we have a Harvest Sprite slave system um, fueled by gambling. Which I don't know which is better. <laughs> Yay! I think in the Japanese version it actually said casino on the wall, but they scrubbed that out of this game for some reason. If you need to hire some help, you can do so like always by talking to Guts at the counter on the first floor. To hire help with this new system, you'll need the metals that are sold here. So yeah, we couldn't hire sprites until we unlock Roller, because he actually sells you casino metals. There are some rules though. For example, if you haven't saved any harvest sprites in a team, you won't be able to ask for help from that team. And what else? Ah, uh, it's so hard to explain. There's a book all about the system on the counter on the first floor. Read it if you don't understand something. Alright, maybe I'll take a look at it unless it's too long then. Now I have a favor to ask. Please bring back the Harvest Sprite still stuck in that other world. I'm sure they'll all have be a big help to you. Okay, well I can't get in until around 10 a.m. But I do want to go in there so let's fart around a little bit longer. <laughs> Maybe we'll, uh... Actually, I'm just gonna collect these weeds. Don't want to kill my stamina quite yet. And yeah, this will be a very vital system. Um, to this game. Also, I need to hire sprites to help me unlock other sprites. Um, for example, the fishing team. Um, I mean, you can fish on your own. Just... <laughs> One by one, but obviously it takes a long time to catch anything, and got a darter. That makes it my biggest darter. And uh, there's some like ridiculous requirements, like oh, catch fifty thousand fish. Like you obviously want the harvest sprite team to help you catch most of those fish, so you can lock the other sprites. And you also need to hire out the purple team to have heal you to unlock more purple team members and yeah just have to hire out like each of the teams one at a time unfortunately you can't hire out everyone at the same time because that would make it a uh, that would make it too convenient cut an amago trout it's my biggest amago trout also my first one all right the casino should be open now and the sprite tree in general <laughs> you'll see all the sprites that i've unlocked already everyone's here this is a lumber team's post box. No harvest sprites are on this team. I've returned yet, though. I guess you can you can like deliver gifts here. I never do. This is a watering team's post box. Uh, I guess I can drop off items here. I really don't gift the harvest sprites in this game. Oh god, there's a lot. Helpers rules. Rule number one: you can ask for help in two sections. Once the first request has ended, the second request will start on the next day. Rule 2, only one team can help you per day. Rule 3, our harvest sprites work from 6am to 9pm. Rule 4, we won't go out if there's a typhoon or blizzard, and they don't ever work on event days. But don't worry, you'll get your medals back if this happens. Oh, okay, I didn't know that they actually refunded those medals back. <laughs> I'm so used to like the mineral town system, they just- they work regardless of the day. Rule number five, whenever they can't work, we will refund your medals. Rule number six, our team's help in order in order each map section is selected. Okay, so that I thought like mostly refers to maybe like the watering or like the lumber team. You want them to like focus on one area first. In case they can't finish everything, maybe you just like prioritize certain areas. 
So make sure to select the map sections in order you want work done. Rule 7, our teams promise to improve with, with experience. But as they improve, more medals will be required for their services. Alright, that was actually a good, um... What's, what's the description? <laughs> Each post box is color-coded by team. To give presents to a harvest sprite, go to that sprite's team's post box. Hold the present in your hands and speak to the postmaster in that box. Then press the A button to select a harvest sprite from that team. Okay, so I guess in case you want to... Actually, harvest sprites actually have like... Even though there's like 101 of them, <laughs> they have like specific gifts that they like and don't like, which is kind of amazing when you think about it. Because that's a lot of characters' likes and dislikes. But yeah, I guess this is so you don't have to hire out a team to find like a particular sprite to gift. They also have birthdays, I think. And use the control pad to select a number of presents. Harvest sprites who haven't returned to this world will not be on the list. Once you've chosen a number of presents to give, press the A button to confirm. The presents will then be sent to that harvest sprite. Okay, that's actually kind of neat. Um, probably understand what these teams do as we go along. I probably should hire at least one team. Maybe, maybe I'll do like the healing team first. I not only have one member, but I can use that member to get other members. Talk to a recovery team of the harvest sprites on the map, and then they'll restore some of your energy. As we improve, we'll be able to restore larger amounts. But once you ask us for recovery, you'll have to wait 30 minutes to ask again. <laughs> that kind of sucks. So yeah, it's a very time-consuming process. Uh, we got guts here. It's nice and warm out. I love the warm weather. Love, love, love it! If you don't have any medals, we can't help you one bit. Come back Blah, words. Come back again once you've gotten medals from the casino. Got Jet here. Welcome, welcome indeed. So very expensive items. <laughs> Sells records. Um, I think these records here, um, we unlock these by connecting um, our copy of Mineral Town. So, yeah, these are exclusive to connecting. Do -do. We will buy these probably later. All done. Please stop by again. And here we go, we got the casino! And yes, they have actual casino games here. <laughs> so over here we have Jum, who we have unlocked already, so he's like all ready to go. So what will it be? Uh, memory? Let's... I, I'm not gonna actually like play the casino games, probably at all, but I'll, I'll show you what they are at least. Memory instructions. In memory, 14 cards are placed face down. And you have to find most matches to win. You turn over two cards and make a match. You keep those cards and turn over two more until you don't make a match. If you turn over two cards that don't match, then it's my turn. The first one to make four pairs is the winner. There are six pairs and two cards that don't match in the total of 14 cards. Now I'll tell you how to place bets. Press up on the control pad to bet up to 10 medals at once. Press down on the control pad to lower the number of medals to bet. Finally, press the A button to confirm the number of medals you want to bet. Once confirmed, the game will start. Alright, I, I really don't like the memory game because I just- I have terrible memory. Um, let's see, Tep? What'll be? Got Blackjack. Blackjack instructions. Whoever is dealt the closest hand to 21 in Blackjack is the winner. But be careful, if you go over 21, it's called a bust and you lose. Cards are added up according to these point values. Cards 2 to 10 count at face value. Uh, the Jack, Queen, and King are with 10 points each, and Ace is worth 1 point or 11 points. Jokers count as anything you want from 1 to 11 points. If your total points are close to 21, touch OK. If your hand is closer to 21 than mine, you win. Press up on the control pad and bet the maximum of 10 medals. Press down on the control pad to lower the number of medals to bet. Finally, press the A button to confirm the number of medals. Okay, we already know this. You can bet up to 10 medals. <laughs> Once confirmed, the game will start. There's also a double up game after you win, so you, like, you could double up your winnings. Um, yeah, it's kind of dangerous, because sometimes you can get really high, like, continuing, continuing to double up. It's usually like a high-low, like, card mini game. And, yeah, you can... You can kind of uh, break your heart doing that because you can get really high and just like fail the, the double or nothing. And then we have uh, hops here. Welcome, welcome. So what it'll be with good old poker. 
which instructions uh, how to play poker. <laughs> the object of poker is to make the best of your five cards. You can exchange up to f all bleh, words. You can exchange up to all five for for new cards, but you can only do it once. Touch the cards you don't want, and change will appear on them. Then touch OK, and all the cards marked as change will be exchanged for new ones. You'll always win as long as you get a pair or better. And I'll tell you how to place bets. So I kind of like playing poker the best <laughs> because. Um, it's easier to win and then like get into the the double or nothing minigame to like increase your medals. I can never really get into blackjack or the memory game because they take too long and like you're, you're you have a higher likelihood of like losing. All right, we already know how to place bets. <laughs> All right, we can bet up to ten medals. All right, poker instructions, poker hands. Royal Straight Flush. Your hand includes a 10, a Jack, Keen, Queen, or Ace Harvest Sprite cards. I, like, good that they're telling me this because I really don't know the rules of poker. Luckily, in this game, the, the cards will sparkle if you have, like, a match somewhere, so, like, you don't have to, like, memorize it if you don't want to. Five cards. Your hand includes four cards with the same number and one Joker. Oh, that's pretty rare. <laughs> Straight flesh, the numerical sequence of five cards of the same suit. But an ace can count as a one or follow a king in a sequence. So, ace, two, three, four, five, and ten, jack, king, queen, ace are both valid sequences for a straight flush. But queen, king, ace, two, three is not a valid sequence, so be careful. Okay, so you can't like... It has to either begin or end the sequence. The ace card, four cards, your hand includes four cards of the same number. Full house, your hand includes three. Of a kind and a pair. Okay. Flush, all five cards in your hand are the, of the same suit. Straight, all cards are in numerical order, but of any suit. So that'd probably be either easier to do than a straight flush. An ace can count as a one or follow a king in a sequence. We know that. But alright, that sequence is not valid. Three cards, you have three of this, three cards of the same number in your hand. Two pair, you have two pairs in your hand matching numbers. One pair, you have one pair of matching numbers in your hand. Okay. Um, I can't play anything until I have medals, so let's talk to Roller. Um, I guess exchange medals for items. Um, we have all these items here. So we have, uh, seeds. I actually probably need to buy some of these seeds. They, they do unlock harvest sprites. <laughs> these special, uh, casino seeds. These were sold by Juan and Friends of Mineral Town, but now they're here. I also have, like, books here. Selling prices. I got like a bunch of cooking recipes. Uh, tea leaves you can buy here. And some accessories. So we got the teleport stone. This is amazing that they give this to you so early in the game. Because before you had to like wait till year three before you can unlock like unlock the ability to get the teleport stone. You had to like go all the way down to the bottom of the mine and then dig it up. Which was a big hassle. I got the truth bangle. Shows your stamina and fatigue. So I guess you don't need to find the, the jewels of truth anymore. Got the love bangle, tells your love friendship levels while you are talking to people. And this is kind of useful if you're grinding up affections. You just, you don't know where you're at with them. Uh, red cloak moves all animals in the map square touched. Um, I, I haven't really demonstrated like how accessories are. I do have an accessory in my inventory that will actually like let me use tools on like the mini map on the bottom of the screen, but I've just been running around the world. Uh, yes, that's it. I think I have to buy- he has some other accessories too, but I think we have to buy these before he gives us those. All done. I will buy some metals. How many can I afford? I need a lot, so... Um, can I afford this many? <laughs> I need at least 300, I think. Uh, maybe I'll buy some extra if possible. Thank you very much. Um, how about I play poker? Just kind of show how the cards look. It'll be. I'll play poker at least once. I'll bet. Oh, it actually shows like the multiplier for getting like certain suits and stuff. And certain um pairs. So I'll I'll bet ten. Um. Hmm. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> it can get kind of addicting. Oh. Maybe I can get- oh, okay, I got a straight! So I got 80. You can 
either go back to playing poker, just keep your winnings and just play again, or you can go for a double up. Uh, go for high- I like high- high and low. So, a three, I think it's probably gonna be higher, so I win. You can go for double up again, high and low. I think it's gonna be smaller. I win. Go for double up. Gets a little bit dangerous here. And then if you think you're good, you can just- alright, I'm gonna keep my winnings. Just keep my medals. Um, I'm gonna try playing blackjack, too. Oh uh, man, I do not know how to play blackjack. <laughs> Six card Charlie's three seven five card Charlie blackjack. I don't know any of this. Um, hit me. Fuck. Ready. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm ready. I win. <laughs> I got blackjack. I'm good. <laughs> uh, go for double up. Let's try high select. Oh, I gotta. I'm gonna lose this one. That sucks. <laughs> How was I supposed to win that? <laughs> There's no winning that. All right, I don't like blackjack. I go away. You know how it looks like. All right, here's jump. I'll try the memory game once. All right, I'll go. I'll go second. There's a nine there. There's a king there. Four there, the seven there, five, king. He like really wants that king. King there. Aha! Aha! Mine! Nine. Oh, there was a nine somewhere. Aha! I don't know where the queen is. Oh, I I know I know there's an eight somewhere. Is there an eight? This is where my memory just dies. <laughs> ah, I did it! Oh, wait. I already got the king. Five. Where did I see the other five? I'm actually doing really well. I win! Go for double up! Ah, uh, larger. Double up again. I lose. Wait, all right. That's that's matching. That one's not so bad. <laughs> maybe maybe my memory's not as bad as I make it out to be. So yeah, that's the casino. Um, kind of amazing that this made it in the game. Um over the best friend system. I, let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know why Natsumi decided. So there's a best friend system in this game where you can actually marry a girl. Um, so there's, I think this is the consolidate that you can't really, like they didn't make any deity characters in this game. So you, to, to kind of make up for it, they made a best friend system in the girl version where you can marry the harvest goddess, the witch princess, um, the mermaid character Leia, or princess Kira. However, they took that out when they localized this game, because Natsumi thought that people in the West would get offended with gay marriage. <laughs> so, I like how they kept everything else. Killing animals to woo your your witchy waifu. Um, just to, like, straight up gambling, that's fine, but no, we're not gonna let a girl marry a girl. I like- I like how that's the line that they drew. <laughs> like, gambling, okay. <laughs> girl marrying girl, no. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> that's just- that's just messed up. I'm glad that, like, nowadays they're kinda, like, alleviating that. They're- they're including it in games, letting people marry who they want. Instead of restricting it off, like, off gender. Okay. So, I'm gonna do something a little bit tricky here. Because <laughs> I do need lots of medals to hire sprites, to buy things. And I don't really want to spend my entire life playing poker. So this is what I'm gonna do. So first I'm gonna save my game, because you need kind of, uh, a quick hand for this. Save complete. Talk to Roller, so in case you mess this up, you just have to reload. Let's buy some med- no, actually, no. We already bought our medals, we're good. Let's exchange medals for items. 
So this glitch in particular, it works in the boy version and the girl version. This is one of the glitches that they did not take out of the game. <laughs> um, some ways to make money in the boy version, some popular ones was like the million gold glitch um, by hi hiring like the Harvest Right fishing team in the winter. Um, it would actually it was called the billion gold glitch because you would hire the you would hire the fishing team and for some reason. Um, after you got your shipments, it would just put a billion gold in your wallet. This worked kind of similar. <laughs> um, so we want to buy... You can buy anything. So let's buy a bell pepper, because it's the cheapest thing and we have more chances to, like, to make this work. So, buy one. So, roller will say this dialogue. Thank you so much. I'll put all your prizes in your rucksack. Um, once I press the A button again, it's going to go back to the shop inventory menu. Uh, what I want to do is press the A button. You want to double tap the A button as fast as you can. Um, and if you do it right, you'll see like um, some glitchy dialogue that shouldn't be there. So it might take me a few tries to do this. Yeah, so I didn't do it right that time. It's just showing me the menu item. So get a bell pepper seed. Thank you so much. I'll put all your prizes in your rucksack. Go really fast. Nope, didn't get that did that time. All right, I might have to set my controller down somewhere. Maybe use my index finger for this. Nope, I could try one more time or two more times rather. My finger is very... All right, maybe I have to do it this way. Oh, I did it right, but then I mashed too hard, okay. Oops, we want to go back. That's fine, because we saved. So you can always fix it. Change bell for items. Alright, buy bell pepper seed. Thank you so much. I'll put all your item prizes away in your rucksack. Double tap A. Nope. Alright, focus. It always is hard to do when I'm trying to do it on screen. <laughs> are too flippin' slow. I'm also scared of unconnecting something if I get too excited. Alright, reload. That's fine. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Exchange medals for items. Let me put my stick down. <laughs> there we go! Alright, took a bit. Alright, so we got the axe cuts branches for lumbers, won't cut trees or stumps. This is obviously not menu. Um, this is obviously not shop dialogue. It's just kind of pulling it out from somewhere in the game files. You want to purchase um, the amount of medals, like, you want to spend your medals on something that you can't possibly afford. So we're buying 99 pepper seeds. <laughs> we can't afford that. We don't have enough medals for that. But since we glitched out the game, it'll let us do that and we'll make the game divide by zero, and <laughs> the medals kind of roll over and we got a billion medals. <laughs> so I don't have to worry about- <laughs> I don't have to worry about playing poker. <laughs> we got it all. Got everything we need. All right, got all the prizes, so now I can buy some stuff. I need cabbage seeds. So I'm gonna grow some cabbages. And if I want, I could buy these cooking recipes. I mean, I might as well buy these, just get them out of the way. I will need to cook stuff anyway. Because I need to complete my shipping list, so I, I will need to cook the item in order to ship the item, but I will just buy these. Let's see. Yeah. Cooking 101, mixing recipes, steamer recipes, full recipes. So I want the teleport stone, definitely. All your prizes away in your rucksack. Um, I do want the truth bangle. Actually, I probably want the love bangle more. <laughs> I'll get the love bangle. I don't really need the red cloak yet. 
So maybe I should probably wait on buying any more accessories because I'm gonna fill up my bag. Uh, what I want to do is buy some relaxed tea leaves because... Um, and the boy version, you could you could actually... <laughs> like, you buy the red cloak and then after that it would unlock God Hand and Miracle Glove that you could buy for like a million medals. What you could do is buy those, go to Van, sell those accessories for 500 million gold. Once you sell those two items, you have a billion gold, which is the wallet cap in this game, and then like you have all the money you need. Unfortunately, in the girl version though, you can't sell accessories to Van. Or certain, like, most accessories to Van. And don't worry, like, if you have the boy version and you sell those two items, um, they do come back in, in roller store, so... If you want to sell them and get them back later, you can. I am going to just buy a bunch of relaxed tea leaves and sell them to Van, though. As much as I can carry. And this is how we're going to make our money. <laughs> we're going to be selling flippin' tea leaves. Yeah, I'm going to... Let's see, how many can I fit? I don't have that much space in my bog. I like how episode 2 and I, I broke the game already. <laughs> I pr pr should probably end soon. Looks like you can't hold anymore. Alright, I'm all done for now. I will probably come back and buy some more stuff later. Ooh, I can actually buy more stuff. Um, yeah, I could probably do this. Where are these cabbage seeds? <laughs> Get rid of these turnip seeds, I can always buy more. And then I'll re-equip that. Where do I want? I want to move these tools, actually. Let me give me the love dangle here. Alright, I can buy a few more stacks. There we go. I can obviously run back and forth and buy more, but obviously for the sake of time, I will probably buy more in the next episode. Okay. I also have enough medals. I think I'll relax with a spot. Nice spot of tea. No, no, no. I've got to get with it. Work, work, work. Welcome, welcome. What can we do for you? I will hire out a team. I'll do the healing team. Next, select a single map. I will do it on my farm, because it's easy to do. I will hire them for seven days. And then I have the teleport stone. I can go to my map and I can just warp wherever I want now. It does cost a little bit of fatigue, so like you can't really you can't abuse it. But I mean, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm 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 going to be rich at this point, so I can I can recover my stamina willy nilly. All oh, right, it's Van. Forgot totally forgot I should talk to Van. Hello there, Milan! We've got a great assortment of goods for sale. Come see! Welcome to my shop. Talk to me from across the counter to view my goods. That makes it more official, wouldn't you agree? Ha 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 ha! Bum, ba, dum, ba, da, ba, da. All right, so here's Van. He comes on um, days of the month ending in 3 and 8, so he will pop up a lot, so... But I'll buy the TV, why not? <laughs> Oh, I don't have enough gold. I will, though, by selling these items. Um, I will pick all. Sell the stack instead of choosing. Um, okay, I only have tea leaves here. I can buy all these for this much money. I think you could probably haggle different prices. I'm not gonna be too picky, because I can always get more. Is that okay? Give me that. Give me all this. <laughs> I I solved the money problem in this game by, by doing this. I can pretty much buy like all the buildings I want. But yeah. I'm going I'm not gonna complete this game by cheesing mechanics. <laughs> or cheesing glitches. All these for this much money. That's kinda low, but I'll take it. give you this much. Okay. Now I have 
I have lots of muns now. I can buy a TV now. <laughs> I can also buy a DVD player. And I can also buy some DVDs. I think these used to have um, the old shows that you can view on your TV and Friends of Mineral Town on the Variety Channel. I think now they just show the picture of the show. <laughs> I don't think they actually do anything. I, they might. I, I should double check, actually. Thank you very much! Woohoo! Alright! Ah, uh, flippin' rich. Ah, uh, flippin' rich. I could probably order my first building. Okay. So much excitement. Uh, let's actually wait until- oh, what the heck. Oh, right! <laughs> Hi, Takakura! Um, I think I get this for shipping out. Um... A thousand items? It's counting what I sold the van. Oh, how's it going? Actually, I have a little problem. This horse somehow went astray and came to this ranch. I've tried to send it on its way, but it keeps coming back. There's a stable next to your house, Milan. And a free horse. From what I've seen, it looks like a fine horse. You can ride it, and you can it can help with your other jobs. How about it, Milan? Will you keep this horse? I'll keep it. Really? That's wonderful. All right, then. You should have... <laughs> now you have to decide on a name. <laughs> um, I'm not very creative. So, I do like Zelda, so I did name my farm after Lon Lon Ranch, so I will name you Epona. <laughs> Good, you have a home now. Okay, I'll take the horse to get go get a drink at the watering hole. Pretty sure a lot of, a lot of people name their horse Epona. <laughs> it's just old childhood memories of me just naming this horse Epona. Good old nostalgia. Alright, you actually are useful for something. Getting the horse. I get a harvest price. <laughs> Throw something in the horse's saddlebags. And you get a harvest sprite. I got Kevin. That's pretty much all a horse is used for. There's no horse race in this game. Um, I guess you can travel around with it. Um, but you have the teleport stone, so why? Milan, thank you so much. I'll help you however I can. Okay. Um, I think... Do I get another Harvest Sprite? First ship, I get another Harvest Sprite. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think this one's the one for selling a thousand items. The same as, like, acquiring the horse. I got front. I'm back. Milan, thank you so much. I'll help you however I can. I didn't unlock another one, did I? I can always just sell another weed. Nope, that's it. I also should sell a fish, though. I just want to keep playing. There's so much, so much stuff I gotta do. For example, I gotta plant my cabbage seeds. I'm just gonna plant them here for now. Um, they do take time to grow, so... Better get those in the ground. I uh, need my watering can. Don't, don't dab my head. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. We are good. Okie doke. Let's get my first flippin' building. Gots Constructions. The Gots is closed on Saturdays, so... <laughs> thing. He's open on the 8th, when I can make all my money. This here is a legendary Gots Construction. If you want it, we gots it. What can I do for you today? Um, So many things. I think for starters, I will get a bird shed. I will start working on... Getting chickens! I think there's a harvest sprite where I need to build like five bird sheds and then knock at least one of them down because there's also another sprite that requires you to have like three livestock barns and those like kind of conflict with each other. I'll, I'll start with the bird sheds. Birds are easier to raise than the livestock. Um, I would get golden lumber but there's no way I could afford that. If you're playing the boy version and did this glitch to get all that met those metals and then get all that gold for selling the accessories, and you can definitely afford gold lumber, but I think I should have enough for material stone, which is a good runner-up. Um, I want you to provide the materials, because I definitely don't have enough. 
Neth stone. Uh, build a bird shed. It'll cost 94,000 gold. Yes, that's a lot of money to try to get by selling turnips. That costs, like, pennies. All right. I'll start tomorrow. See you then. All right. We got our first building. We'll start... We'll plant that down tomorrow. Okay. Is there any other visitors before I end things off? No more visitors. Okay. Um, I'll probably pass out... <laughs> in the next episode. We will end here. We did a very good job. We got a lot of progress. We did a very long episode. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you had a fun time learning something new about this game this episode, and I hope you had a relaxing time, and I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye bye.